twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. Oh, hello, movie fans. Alice in Wonderland is a beloved children's story in a Disney cartoon. But will Tim Burton's version of it, starring Johnny Depp, be able to keep the wit and wisdom of the original? Alice! Alice! The Alice? In its sequel of sorts, Alice, now a young woman, returns to Wonderland. That is, if she is the right Alice. But Twist brought us the wrong Alice. Mm. It's the wrong Alice? You're absolutely Alice. I'd know you anywhere. Either way, she's yeah, greeted by her anywhere. old friends, including the Tweedles, the White Rabbit, the Cheshire Cat, and of course, the Mad Hatter, played by Johnny Depp. I'm investigating things that begin with the letter M. Have you any idea why a raven is like a writing desk? Their goal? To put an end to the rule of the Red Queen before someone loses their head. Open his head! The movie is full of some stunning special effects, and Burton brings Wonderland to life, but with a dark twist. The script does a great job at playing tribute to the source material. Sadly, what it lacks is the best part of the book, a razor-keen wit that speaks to a deeper meaning. I need to pick here. Parents, this version is geared toward older kids. While it might not be gruesome, it can be quite grisly, so you have to judge if your kids can bear it. Well, while it might lack some of the wit and some of the depth of the original, it still has a lot of great special effects and some good action. I'm going to give it a B plus. Well, the time has come, my friends, to speak of other things. This is Ron Edens for reallocaltv.com.